Remember, she's already had a perfect 10 on the vault, a 9.75 on the uneven bars, and there, of course, as you saw, 9.875 for Elena Shushinova. We switch to floor exercise now, where Daniela Silivas of Romania is set to perform. Two events being performed simultaneously in the four rotations. And Danielle has some of the greatest difficulty in the competition. Watch this opening run. Whip over, flip-flop, flip-flop, pull in, double back. And she did it all in one run. A little hoedown. Yes, I believe she got this music while visiting the United States. She didn't get it from visiting West Germany, we no. can say that. <laughs> that's true. She enjoys folk music from all over the world. So I guess this would be considered American folk music, wouldn't it? Another difficult tumbling run coming up in Arabian. Right at the beginning here. Right into a triple twist. Just didn't quite get around there. One of her top hobbies is bicycling. She's in the right city for that. <laughs> if Danielle were to make some improvement, it probably would be in her upper body expression. She has all the tumbling moves, but I know that that's one area that she could improve. Just a little more grace and a little more expression. Don't you think crowds have always been partial to little gymnasts and ponytails? That certainly seems to be the way it is when you look back at Olga and Mary Lou. Although Nadia, well, Nadia wasn't so small. A full in double back to end her routine. Daniela Silivas of Romania in second place after two rotations. Here's another look. Here's her Arabian. She steps out right into a triple twist, and you'll see at the end of this, she doesn't quite get around. She has to kind of fake it, but no big deduction. And a score of 9.85 should keep her in second place. Never to be forgotten. Back to the competition now to wrap up the third rotation is Oksana Omelianchik of the Soviet Union. Different music to start things off as she tries to hold on to her third place standing. Possibly the most unusual music and chore choreography combination I have ever heard. She starts with a full in double back. Oh, a little low on that. Almost took a nosedive there. At the World Championships, she took the gold medal. She awed the audiences and the judges, obviously. Here's that combination tumbling run that is so impressive. Watch this, Al. Triple twist, front flip, and she... It's actually a double run act when you think about it. Kathy, <laughs> is that reversal of direction that happens so quickly difficult to learn, or is it easier than it looks? It's hard to keep the momentum and the timing right. That takes an incredible amount of power, and if you're off slightly, it's difficult to regain it. You're watching one of the top two, three women in the world at any given moment. Oksana Emilianchik of the Soviet Union. Interesting reaction of this crowd. They're very quiet. Double pike, low once again. She just seems to be a little bit out of sync with the movement and the music. She shared the gold with her partner Shushanova at the World Championships and we're wondering whether they will share something again here in Beijing at the World Cup of Gymnastics. Al, you asked me if it was difficult to reverse the momentum on this combination tumbling run. Well, I'll point it out right here where the little extra effort has to be made. Right there, that round off going into the back handspring. This has been such an impressive uh, new style in women's gymnastics on the floor exercise, this combination tumbling. 9.85 for little Oksana Omelianchik. And I'll tell you, life in China is changing faster than the standings. The third rotation has changed little. It is Shushanova, Siliva, Somelianchik, and Zabo. Still to come, ABC's Wide World of Sports, 1986 Athlete of the Year. We'll be back after this. In performances and tabulations, this is the top gymnast in the world. Elena Shushanova of the Soviet Union getting set to perform her final event in this all-around championship at the World Cup of Gymnastics. She has to be fairly confident about the all-around at this time. This is her best event, and she opens with a double layout. First seen at the 84 Olympics by Mary Lou Retton. 
Timothy, I'll tell you, the people of Beijing have really been treated to some great gymnastics. When the best men in the world assembled here in August, we were able to provide for the first time a sporting event on the same day via satellite to the United States. And that was an exciting day and another milestone for ABC's Wide World of Sports. of a second tumbling run there's a one and a half side arabian and watch this she continues into the second run now shades bo milianchik i think that hurts it really doesn't the timing is just right she really hits with her hands and her legs first before her stomach even touches the mat the people in the stands that's such a subtle move but you know the judges are looking at it oh they look for that originality and Shushanova really has it in all her tumbling and in her dance and here's her last tumbling run a double back does it with seemingly no effort but I think we know better and Elena Shushanova may have just locked up the gold medal for herself let's take another look at that belly flop round off her hands fit, hit first, then her thighs and her toes, and it really doesn't hurt at all, although uh, if you're not in the kind of shape she's in, uh, it might hurt a little bit. Nine point nine seven five. The final medal standing then in this, the seventh World Cup, Shushanova the gold. Silivas of Romania splitting up those two Soviet gymnasts for the silver, Emilianchik the bronze, and Ekaterina Zabo, no medal, shaped in all ways by dynasties of the past, now playing host to performers who have a dynasty of the present. The stars of this dynasty are not Genghis Khan, Sun Yat-sen, Mao Zedong, or the artistic trademarks of their time left behind. But Shushanova, Emilianchik, and the other female gymnasts who are now the artistic trademarks in their sport. You'll see them today in the World Cup of Gymnastics from Beijing, China, on ABC's Wide World of Sports more and five years later Jim McKay and ABC Sports did just that thousands of people are streaming into the big capital arena as you can see Mount Si took them together oh, what a as athletes rose to new heights China seemed to provide the mystery of a new experience In 1980, Linda Fradiani and other U.S. figure skaters met the children of China. And we went along. While Peggy Fleming performed to a sellout crowd who hadn't quite seen anything like this before. Over the years, life in China has remained the same as much as it has changed. And it is those comparisons that make each visit to this land an adventure. The Soviet Union dominates the women, a gold in the all-around and the vault. Here she goes on the uneven bars. And she has superior difficulty. Watch this move. Straddle down right into a full twist, reverse heck. She continues the momentum here, right into a Delchev, over the low bar. One superior move after the other. That's why she gets the score. Here she goes into her dismount. Giant swing. Full twisting, double back. What a routine. 15-year-old Elena Shushanova, only one of the Soviet stars on a team that's as deep as an ocean. Now, right here, Elena has to build a great deal of momentum, not only to complete this full twist, but also to get up and over that high bar. As she continues her swing. Now, like I said, Elena swings well, but she also has such great brute strength, more so than many of the other gymnasts. The top eight women from the all-around competition competing here in the individual. And Elena Shushanova has put a lot of pressure on all of them. Gymnastics and thoroughbred racing are the key elements of wide world of sports today. With the World Cup of Gymnastics continuing, we will now prove that good things do come in small packages. Here's the Soviet Union's Oksana Emelianchik, four foot seven, 66 pounds. Now Oksana mounts with a straddle over the bar, right to a kip. Look at the straight arms, the position in the air, right to a handstand. Right into a Delchev, right to a, a Somi, catching the low bar. One and a half twist here, heck to the high bar. Talk about precision on every move. Full twist there, over the bar. Yes, sir. 
She makes it look so easy. And that's what gymnastics is all about. Double twisting, fly away. She may look small and young, but she's an experienced veteran. I'll let you do the arithmetic. She's 16 years old, and she began competing in 1976. And she turns in here yet another fine performance. You know, Al, you enjoy watching her, not just because of the difficult elements that she throws, but because she seems to throw caution to the wind. She really attacks this apparatus with total abandon. Not only that, her creative combinations, as we see right here, this soul circle, right into a pop to the high bar, heck to the high bar, are really spectacular, just what the judges are looking for. A 9.975 for Emilianchik, but all this does is illustrate how strong Shushanova was. For as great as that score is, Emilianchik is still not past her Soviet teammate. One competitor to go now on these uneven bars from Romania, Daniele Silovas, in second place after the all-around competition. She needs a 9.975 to tie, a perfect 10 to take the lead. And she is a little dynamo on this event. Straddle over, talk about strength and position in the in her handstands they're just perfect right into a del chuff drop to the low bar no effort involved it looks looks like here but we know better stalters kip shoot through look at the toe point look at the form right into a reverse he hecked over the high bar getting ready for her dismount giant swing clear hip front with a half easily done. Exactness on every move is what the uneven bars is all about. Any extra swing, uh, extra arch in the back really distracts from this event, and Danielle has none of that. Handstand half turn, right into what is called a stalter. Perfect position in the handstand. Well, she needed to be virtually perfect, and she was one-tenth less than that. 9.9 .9 for Daniela Silivas, a total of 19.85. She will finish and receive the bronze medal. Again, it is a story of Soviet domination. Shushanova wins the gold. Emilianchik wins the silver.